Good morning, Mr. Chairman. I have some handouts for the page to distribute, please, to the committee from the Sustainability Task Force. For the record, good morning, Mr. Chairman. My name is Fred Birnbaum, the Audio Freedom Foundation. Um, we're in opposition to SCR 101, and I think I can explain clearly why with these two handouts. Um, you don't obviously have to read the article. So to the question of the Representative Gallagher brought up, you know, what's the 700,000? And what you see in the very um, hard to read bar chart is a project plan. And this is from the 120 minutes. It's on the bottom of the EMS Sustainability Task Force. So basically, this task force has momentum. They want $700,000 to develop a plan. But at the end of that plan, call this a down payment. And this article was on their website. I didn't just pluck it off the internet. It was on their website. Commission recommends annual infusion of $76 million to help Maine's beleaguered emergency medical services. Maine's rural state, it actually has a smaller population, Idaho. It's roughly 1.3 or 4 million. We're 1.9. That's what this is. This $700,000 is a down payment on 50, 60, 70, 80 million dollar request. And I think we should be clear about that's what we're really voting for here because there's a certain inevitability to this process. All the testimony on the Senate side and here is about needs and needs end up with requests. So that's, that's really the issue. If you vote for this, you're really voting for a very large request down the road. I suppose you could say no, but the, the task force is gonna make that request and they're gonna say, well, you gave us 700,000 to, to do this, and this is what we came up with. Um, thank you, and I'll stand for any questions. Are there any questions for Mr. Birnbaugh? I don't see any. Um, I have one quick question. Do you think there's a need for a plan in M for the emergency medical services, or do you think they don't need a plan? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I. I would say two things, um, whether a statewide plan is needed or not. I mean, I think potentially the answer is yes. But what I would actually suggest is that they come forward with, this is where we're gonna go with the plan. So before you ask for the 700,000, embed the 70 million as a, or whatever the number is, a potential request. And finally, and this is why government expands so much, I think the five billion plus health and welfare should find the offset. So if you want 70 million more for this, project planning requires prioritization. And I would say let's, for example, find some money in the $4.7 billion Medicaid request. And you might say that's not germane, but this is all under health and welfare. This is under public health services, this particular budget EMS. So the plan isn't necessarily a bad idea. It's always, I always believe in planning, but I think this whole stutter step, oh, let's get this project team going, then hmm, let's ask for 700,000. Oh, then let's show up in a year with a request for tens of millions of dollars. I just don't think that's how it should be. I think uh, they, they are far enough along that when they come up with the plan, they should say, this is the ballpark. And they actually, if you read the minutes, there's a lot of suggestions, some actually that the 70 million might not be enough. Um, but that should be, they should be forthcoming. And then I would actually suggest an offset. So we want 70 million from this um, out of the five plus billion dollar health and welfare budget. Um, then the leadership would come forward and say, here's how we could save 70 million and make it cost neutral. I think if all of those things were up front, then I think you know we, we would feel neutral about it because it isn't just growing government. Are there any other questions for Mr. Birnbaum? I do not see any. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.